the JX3 hybrid saddle is one of the most comfortable and versatile saddles on the market <clears throat> simply because the comfort comes from the backrest that you can adjust from a sitting straight up to a reclining position to get the best angle for you in the woods. But one accessory that comes with the saddle or that you can buy separate that increases the comfort of it is the headrest. This is the headrest and I'm going to show you, take a few minutes and show you how to attach to install it on your saddle. I have my load haulers installed which I've taken one off on this side. The headrest comes, mounts into mining brackets here. I still have one on this one side on, but I'm going to show you on this one how to install it. With the load haulers on, you simply unhook the J-hook and lay it out of your way. And I run my shoulder bags, but I have them laying down also. This is the mounting bracket for it. You have a square tube or a square bracket and a wing nut. You simply remove the wing nut from the bracket and you have a post. And since I run <coughs> my shoulder strap, my shoulder bags, I mount from the third one over. You see the mounting holes here, you got one, two, three. Take your bracket and insert it into the frame hole. Come in under your shoulder straps. And I don't have a camera angle to show this, but basically you just put the wing nut onto the stud and thread it on. No tools needed. You simply turn the wing nut until you start tightening it up. If you have fingers besides mine, it takes a, sometimes it takes a little bit of time because it's a tight fit. Don't tighten it completely down to start with. After you install both brackets into the frame, you simply take your headrest with the support bars on the back of the straps and the headrest facing forward. You line up the bracket and you slide it in, or the support part, excuse me. Come to the other side, same thing, just line up the support bar onto the bracket and you have to have your brackets a little bit loose to get them in. You slide it down to where you think your height is and you snug it up. You don't tighten it completely. Then when you put it on, you will adjust it to where it's going to be good for you and your neck height. You have two options at this point. Once you get it set to your height, you can snug or tighten it completely down where it doesn't move or leave it loosened up so it'll slide. You can slide it down for when you're hiking or not using it, you flip. You simply flip the headrest backwards, and it stays up out of your way when you do that. If you do use that approach when you get in your stand, you simply pull up on the support bars, put it where you want it, reach in, tighten up your brackets. When I'm hiking. I leave it like this. I flip it backwards so it doesn't hit my, or get in my way. It doesn't hit the back of my head. And when I'm climbing, same thing. When I get ready to use it, I just reach back, flip it over, and then the, it cradles your neck as you as you lean back. I would I'd like to be able to go out today and actually show you on the tree how it works, how it fits, 
but the weather's not good today for being outside filming so as soon as I get a clear day when I can I'll do another video in the tree but I do have a short on my channel from last deer season filming where it shows the headrest being used. That's all there is to installing it. Once it's installed, take your load hold, your load holders back. Simply slide them back into your loops. Pull your saddlebags up and reattach them to where they go on the shoulder. And then close it up, you're ready to hunt. If you've been thinking about purchasing the headrest for your JX3, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite accessories and it's one of the best values on the, as far as an accessory goes. I hope it's been helpful. If you like my channel, like and subscribe, share it. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the future. I do plan on doing some shooting videos from my saddle or from the JX3. I shoot with a trad bow. A lot of people ask me, can you shoot with a trad bow out of it? And the answer is yes. It's just like everything else, it takes just a little bit of practice, but you can do it. Compound bows are simple. It's built a bow hunt out of, especially with a compound. I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. If you're interested in JX3 hybrids or any of the accessories, be sure to go to JX3Outdoors.com and you'll find all you need there. You can use the discount code ST23 across the site for this help save some money on your purchase. Be sure to check back with us in the future. I'm going to be doing more GX3 videos throughout the summer and into hunting season. And as we get into the hunting seasons, you'll be seeing me using it a lot more on video as far as for hunting, for hiking, for packing out my animals that I do kill. And I hope to see you come back. Thank you.